Apple's 5K studio display is a lovely thing. If you've ever used a 5K iMac, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I went from having a 5K iMac as my main machine, and then I went to a Mac Pro with a 4K display, and it felt really different. And that's because a lot of people don't realize how much bigger 5K is compared to 4K. You'll often get PC fanboys, you know, hating on the studio display, saying, why would you spend that much when you can get a 4K display for this price? But the difference is almost 80% more pixels on a 5K display as compared to UHD 4K. I'll put the exact percentage up on the screen. And so folks don't realize how much more screen real estate you get. And to have that in a 27 inch form factor, that's really nice. My 4K display, which is now connected to my PC workstation just behind the camera here, that's a 32 inch display. And I find that a little bit too big to be on the desk just in front of me. Uh, 5K in 27 inches, that's absolutely perfect. And it works really well with Mac. But since I am a PC user as well, uh, probably half and half actually, maybe uh, regular subscribers don't realize that, but uh, yeah, I probably use Windows as much as I use Mac OS. And uh, I have a gaming laptop here and I just wondered, can I connect it up to the studio display and would it work? Now, no doubt plenty of others have tried this, but the thing about the studio display is that it's a Thunderbolt connection, whereas uh, this particular laptop doesn't have Thunderbolt, at least as far as I'm aware it doesn't. This is a USB 3.2 generation 2. So this is my Asus G14 gaming notebook, and it's the 2022 model, uh, which is all AMD, and it's absolutely fantastic. And I got it for an absolute steal, uh, and I love this. Now, I can't imagine that many people are going to want to connect this particular display to their PC, but nonetheless, let's have a go and see if it works. And I'll just pull the Thunderbolt cable, and I'm literally using the same Thunderbolt cable that comes with the Studio display, and I'm just going to plug it into the port on the left side of the G14 and see what happens. It works. Awesome. And uh, something else I'm noticing is it's actually charging my laptop as well. Now, this particular notebook uh, will charge via USB-C, but obviously that's limited, I think, to 100 watts. And if you're gaming with it, you probably want 160 watts. But I don't suppose you would use a display like this for gaming anyway. Uh, the screen in the laptop is 120 hertz, and this is a 60 hertz display. This is a creative display that's color accurate. Uh, it's lovely for doing creative work. Now, obviously, it's not using the full 5K resolution at the moment because it's mirroring my internal display. So we just need to change that. So let's extend the dis... Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Good. Let's uh, keep changes, swap the position of the screens. Wow, that looks really good. And uh, I've got a feeling it might actually be using the speakers as well. So let's just try that out. If I make monitor 2 my main display, our audio options down here, audio mixer, speakers, studio display audio. There we go. So I've just called up the YouTube audio library so I can play some music without getting a copyright strike and we'll see if the uh, studio display speakers work. One of the things I love about the studio display, those epic speakers. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So what I want to do now is just test whether we can use the studio display's webcam. Now just bear in mind that we're using this over USB, not Thunderbolt, because this laptop doesn't have Thunderbolt. And there we go, that's the studio display camera and the anti-flicker is working. That's brilliant. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to use things like center stage because uh, that'll be Mac specific. But anyway, that's that's really nice. Uh, it's a good webcam. It's 1080p. It, it looks really good. Much better than the internal camera on this little Asus laptop, unsurprisingly. So let's now test the studio display's microphone, see if that works. And I'll just use Windows Sound Recorder to try that out. And I can see already the uh, studio display audio microphone is there. So let's do a little test. Testing the microphone in the studio display. 
And we can play that back. The microphone in this display. Okay. Testing the microphone in the studio display. Testing the microphone in the studio display. Okay, obviously a little glitch there in sound recorder, but it does work. So uh, I'll probably need to do a bit more testing with that, but uh, it does seem like it's fully functional. And having the webcam and the speakers and the microphone, that's probably the things that you really want out of a monitor like this. Okay, what about connectivity? So on the back of the studio display, we've got a, a Thunderbolt port, which is what you use to connect your computer to, and then you've got three USB-C ports. And as you can see, I've got this uh, D-Link 2.5 gigabit network adapter plugged into one of those. Uh, the question is, is my laptop seeing that? And I guess there's a really simple way to answer that by just switching off the Wi-Fi and firing up a web browser. And we're offline, so it looks to me like that hasn't worked. I'll just have a look in Device Manager. Yes, it's not showing up in Device Manager. I want to just try a USB-C uh, hard disk. So I've just got an NVMe drive in here inside the enclosure. Let's plug that in and see if it appears. I'm going to guess not. No. So um, that's a bit of a sad situation, I suppose. You can't use the ports on the back. I expect, though, if you had a laptop with Thunderbolt, it probably would work. The one thing, though, that you're never going to get working with this is the brightness, because with the studio display, if you connect a Mac, you can adjust the brightness of the display with your Mac. Uh, but from a PC, there's no way to do that. There's no buttons on the monitor itself. Apple do release a driver for Boot Camp, I believe, um, but I haven't looked that up. I don't know if you can download that separately and whether that would then work, particularly with an AMD laptop, probably not. Now just bear in mind that this laptop has a discrete GPU and uh, an onboard GPU in the processor and it can export the video from either of those cards through this USB-C port. If you've got a tower PC with a conventional GPU in, that may not be the case. Some GPUs do have a USB-C output with DisplayPort support on, on the back of the GPU, but it might be that you have to get some sort of DisplayPort to USB-C cable. And I suspect the standard ones that you find on Amazon might not work because they're intended to work the opposite way around. Um, USB-C at the computer end to display port at the monitor end. And you want the reverse of that. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure there is a cable out there that will do it. I actually quite like the idea of using the studio display with my PC, but mainly it's because of that 5K resolution, which just looks so sharp and fantastic, whether it's being driven by Windows or Mac OS. The colors in the studio display are lovely and uh, the webcam's great, speakers are awesome. Whether it's worth £1,500 or that much more than a 4K monitor, well, you'll have to decide that for yourself. Uh, for me, I like this resolution. I'm very happy with my purchase. I look at displays as a long-term investment, and I'm pretty confident that this display will outlast most of the machines that will be plugged into it. I'll probably keep something like this for 10 years or more. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Would you buy a studio display? I'm sure you haven't gone out and bought one for just for PC usage, um, but... Do you use both platforms like I do? Is it something then that you think you might get some utility from? Anyway, look forward to hearing what you've got to say in the comments section. Thanks as always for your kind support of the channel. I'll see you again soon for some more geekery.